about American football, I'll do is I'll get it over with quickly, then we can move on. <laughs> I read this in the paper, this is true. 12% of Americans think Joan of Arc was Noah's wife. <laughs> <laughs> And the other day, he's been living here 10 years, and I was asking him about the difference between Britain and the US, and he said something which I thought was very arrogant. He said, there is nothing you've got in Britain that we haven't got in the US. That's quite, that's an arrogant thing to say, do we agree? Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing you've got in Britain that we haven't got in the US. So I took him to the Cuban embassy. <laughs> Waxing. Now, I'm not going to do a survey, some people like it. So, I'm the opposite, I grow it long, consider it a feature. <laughs> okay. Nice. And anyway, she was on holiday in China and she realised her wax job was a little bit out of date. She went to a salon in rural China and said, Could you please rip these out? Right, and they'd never heard of this procedure. They thought she was fucking nuts. And they, they frankly they'd got a point. But um, she was really determined, right? She was acting things out. She got a local guy to translate, drawing pictures. You know, eventually they said, all right, we'll do it. But before we start, just to clarify, should we remove all of the hair? And she said, oh no, I want you to leave just a little strip. And she said, when she looked down afterwards, they left a horizontal strip. <laughs> and she said it looked like her cunt had a Hitler moustache. <laughs> but you can try that, ladies, the Hitler. That's a new look. Guys, if you go for a trim, don't mention Hitler. They take one bollock off. <laughs> and she, I don't know if anyone shops at Tesco's, but there's a Tesco's at the end of my road, and they are currently having a Mum of the Year competition, right? You can write a letter about how lovely your mum is, and uh, she might win a holiday. What they've done to advertise this, they put an enormous A-board sign in the street just by my house, and in really big letters it just says, Enter your mum, now! <laughs> I've been working 15 years in this chip shop. Every night after work, I wash my face in the leftover fat from the fryers. Last week, I put this slap on. I pulled twice. Spit roast. It's good we've lowered the tone. Fantastic. I've already had a time. I'll finish with this. This, I think, is the worst. I'm sure you've seen it. You know the one for the shampoo where the woman is in the shower with the shampoo having an orgasm? <laughs> Have you seen that? Does that annoy some of you who probably watch it on repeat, sweetheart? That's different. <laughs> right, that annoys me for one reason only. That is false advertising. <laughs> I have bought a lot of that stuff. <laughs> and I'll leave you with this piece of advice, ladies, if you want two orgasms from a bottle of conditioner, <laughs> don't rub it on your head. <laughs> Seriously, I have the glossiest pubes in Shoreditch tonight. <laughs> and you can picture that for the rest of the evening. Thank you very much. You